Hello everyone, hope you are doing fine. So today we are going to see how to connect to MySQL using Python. So we'll be using MySQL 5.6.17 and Python 3.4 and we'll be parsing the Python script in the browser. And what we are going to do, we are going to connect to the MySQL and if the connection succeeded, we will just populate the all the schema names in the database uh, within a combo box and whenever we select it will give the name of the database you have selected my database you have selected mysql so that's uh, what i'm going to do so let's start so here uh, i'm going to show you the, how to connect to the mysql server and uh, <coughs> creating cursors uh, and uh, executing cursors but there is also a part javascript part which i will just i'll not write it i'll just copy and paste from some source so that's all about so the, for this tutorial we are going to use a library known as py mysql okay so before that, don't forget to do this stuff. Uh, provide, let the browser know where the Python application is. Okay. Because uh, when you are using in a Windows shell uh, or a Windows shell or Linux shell, whatever. So you already mentioned give the path in the environment variable and it's not a problem to identify the Python well, from wherever you run the Python script. Uh, if it is in the path environment, and so it can really execute the script. But in case of browser, you have to mention where the application is, which will compile the script and run it. Okay, so here I've mentioned it. So now we import PyMySQL. So uh, if you don't have PyMySQL, so what you are going to do, uh, you can, uh, if the path is there, you can run it from anywhere. So just write pip install pymysql. Sorry. So go. Well, let's see, the uh, requirement already satisfied because I've already installed install it. So if I have not installed it, it doesn't have been worked now as it is working. So PyMySQL. So first we will not uh, write the HTML tag. Uh, we will just connect to the database. So con equal to pymysql.connect. user equal to root password passwd equal to root host equal to localhost or 127.0.0.1 I mean 0.0.1 and I have a specific port so you 3306 is the port. Uh, if you are, if you don't know your port, you can just go to the WAMP. I mean, wherever your WAMP is, and then I think it's been MySQL, MySQL. Okay, and here you will find one file my.ini. Whenever you open this, you are you see here is the port. So you can also change this port to some other value, but it's a default value. So I'll using. So don't confuse the browser connecting uh, whatever. If, if you port use any other uh, HTTP port, uh, I mean TCP port other than 80. So that is a different thing. It's not database port. It's a desert database port. Okay. So host port and database equal to uh, MySQL.
So to execute, I will just do some stuff. First of all, I will do, I will just put this in a try catch block, try, okay, try block. So except okay. So we can print something. Say oops. There is some error. Okay, so I'm not going to handle the error now. What error is going on? But you can do this. So uh, we are doing something other stuff now. What we are going to do? Print. Uh, okay, so let us not uh, just copy paste this section. So you have to make add this line when you are parsing it in a browser. So it will be content hyphen type colon text HTML. And don't forget to give the backslash in. Either you give the backslash in here, or you just give uh, this one. Just a blank print. Okay, well, if you don't do this, uh, it will not work. So, okay. So in the same way, I just close this. Close, close. Closing tag. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Head will not be here. So this one. HTML head and let us print another one say body close the body tag so if the connection succeed let us print something okay let us first print say H1 connecting to my SQL. Okay, so now if it is connected, connection succeeds it. And here we write say collection field. Okay. So let us try this one. Okay, so if the, there is no exception, that means the connection is succeeded. And let us go to the browser. Okay. And refresh this one. Oops, connection failed. Let us see where maybe there is some problem. So here is the problem. Uh, just a spelling mistake. Connection succeeded. <coughs> now we have connected. <coughs> so we are going to create a cursor now. So tar equal to on dot cursor <coughs> car dot execute select distinct table name <coughs> from information schema dot tables order by one okay so now we are going to just run a loop here so before running the loop i will just uh, add some uh, html uh, tag here okay so which will actually create the combo box and add uh, add those lines there okay so let us just bring the HTML script, uh, JavaScript here. Okay, so uh, just uh, let me before uh, going to the JavaScript, uh, that uh, the JavaScript is actually the uh, this is table not table level, this is table schema. So uh, from information schema dot table. So before the JavaScript is here for uh, getting the alert alert. Okay, so the alert message we have produced. But for this, we need a select tag here. Okay, so select 
id say abc id doesn't matter okay just forgot to give the escape tag okay so i'm just printing double code inside double code so you have to give some uh, one uh, escape tag okay so just uh, close this one can just close this one so now we have executed the cursor so for go in car print uh, if you are accustomed with uh, html you know the combo box value is shown by this one option option so here you give id uh, equal to don't have to give the id just give the value here okay so just we need to concatenate something row zero because they are a single we have uh, select it a single field a single column so row you can i'll just print uh, i'll just not print row okay, it will be some some error format so i print row zero so is the option printed the select attack is closed here so now we have done with this now let us go move to the browser and see whether it's working yeah it's working you can see information schema my database my sql performance schema so if you just also go there and you can see how the html is printed here okay i just executed the print uh, uh, this pui from my command line and you see if you, if you just make a file of this html uh, section it will just do the same thing okay so let us uh, give some label here okay say print select data schema now i think it looks something pretty okay so uh, we have another stuff to do uh, that i'll just copy paste from somewhere to so save my time okay so we do not even close the close the high hit tag but still it's working is so what is, what is this uh, here we have a function called tail get table names so or say table name okay, i mean sorry cannot get table name it uh, print show schema name something like that okay so it is taking a uh, input parameter o and it just displaying one alert message which is you have selected and that o order value now we will go to the select tag and here we will give call a function uh, event on change and in that event we will just do show schema name and inside this is this okay so this will just uh, indicate give the id of this select item combo box item <coughs> so so it will print it whenever you select some stuff now i get select something from here you have selected my database selected my sql this one and performance schema so this is our a small program of connection of uh, to <coughs> mysql database from python using uh, pymysql library so you can see how, how we can use python as a backend script to to manipulate the database 
okay to starts from database get data okay and everything you can also write some export script like this suppose you select some uh, export some table data to save the format i will come to that uh, also in my next video so for the connection to my skill this is all about and i hope you like this video if you do like it please press the subscribe button and also share this video on other to others and good day